<laughs> Good luck, human. Good game. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, hey, it's you. All right. Come on, I'll lead you in. My name's Samson. Brock Samson. This friggin' place is like a maze. Ah, Mr. Samson. I'd lost track of you for a moment. <gasps> And you've brought the player! Splendid! On behalf of everyone at the inventory, I cannot begin to express our unbridled elation to see you return for another night of high-stakes poker. Yeah. Uh, speaking of high stakes, things may have gotten stabby over in the mumbly peg room. Mr. Samson, I once again remind you that the inventory is not your personal abattoir. Yeah, yeah, send the cleaning bill to Venture Industries. The last time. Ah, as always, I am Commodore Reginald Van de Winslow, retired, and I will hey, be your host cheeks. for tonight's perilous on voyage stocks. on the seas of chance. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, Reggie, these new chairs are great. It's like my keister is being held aloft by the wings of tiny velvet angels. Let me try, Sam. I'm afraid there's no room at the table for your plus one, Sam. That's okay. Max will make his own fun. Come out with your arms akimbo, Mendoza! So when do we get this clam back on the road? In a few minutes. We're still waiting for... Hello! Hello, future losers! Our remaining contestants. But seriously, whose HDMI port do I have to kiss to get a drink around here? I really love what you've done with the place. Very, uh, Boardwalk Empire meets Silence of the Lambs. As I was saying, your Can we get going? Steve and I have a tea time at Spyglass. Uh, I suppose we should. I'd hoped our final contestant would be here by now. But it appears that we'll be one short tonight. Deal me in. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. Everything seems to be in order. The chips are stacked. The deck is shuffled. Let the tournament begin! Gentlemen, I leave you to the tender mercies of GLaDOS. Good evening. Great. What the hell, Wayne? Hubba, hubba! This completes the first test of the contestants' poker faces. The bad news is you all failed miserably. The good news is you appear to be evenly matched. The name of the game is Texas Hold'em.
call. I'm out. Raise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. These cards just reminded me of something funny Max said about sucking chest wounds. Fold. I call. Check. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Sure, why not? Call. <laughs> I'll check. Okay, then. I call. Duh. Samson has a pair of sixes, the player has a pair of tens, the player wins. Brock Samson has been eliminated. Wow, I uh, really didn't see this coming. I did, but I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Surprise! Say, hey, Sam, is that your tricked out 1960 DeSoto adventurer in the parking lot? It better be. I'd hate to think we've been driving around in someone else's car for the past 25 years. Why do you ask? I think it growled at me. Yeah, it's done that ever since that adventure we had in HE double hockey sticks. Maybe you should see an exorcist. That's what I keep telling Max, but then he just spins his head at me and vomits. And on that rack. <laughs> I just had that cleaned. That's a check. What to do? What to do? What to do? Hmm. I wonder what'll happen if I throw in a few chips, like so. Smart move. Not this time. Sam takes the pot. Don't be discouraged. Running in fear is a pretty natural response to a six-foot-tall dog with a gun. And this is me folding. Again. I call. Ooh, impressive. Call. I like these cards. Not like-like. That'd be weird. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. I... praise. I call. I can't figure out whether your re-raise indicates a lack of poker skill or a lack of manners. To be fair, it could easily be both. Do, 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 do. Let me show you how we go all in, Pandora style! Great day in the morning! Oh, Sam! Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that! <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. All in. 
Whoa. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking, and it's making my brain hurt. Looks like O'Clappy's just bought himself a big old sack of pain. Holy Oak, Massachusetts. Mr. Funny Chips has a pair of sixes. The player has a pair of eights. Sam has a straight. On the side part, Sam takes the pot. And on the main part, Sam wins. I know this little winning streak is just random luck, but... In your face, suckers! <laughs> what he said? Claptrap has been eliminated. Fortunately, my stake in this tournament has been funded by a generous grant from the fine folks at Gearbox Software. What? What do you mean, unapproved expenses? I'm doing cross-promotional work here. But, but, hello? Hello? When the movie comes out, I am out of here! How do you get through all your crazy adventures without any shoes? Same way you get through yours without a hat. But I don't need a hat. Exactly. Sam makes off with the blinds. That was easy. Too easy. And also because shoes make him look like a big brown clown. Check. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Ha. Huh. Raise. Nope. Ah, oh, come on. All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Good for you. Crap! The player has a flush, and Ash has a pair of fours. The player wins the hand. Not bad, Spanky. Ashley Williams has been eliminated. Damn. If you need me, I'll be over at the bar hoping for a demon apocalypse. Now that you've played a few hands without bleeding all over the cards, it's time to move the blinds up to 600 and 1200. I'll call. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I think I'll call. Hmm. I should raise this bet, but I kind of feel sorry for it. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I call. The player has two pair. Sam has two pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. This tournament is giving me an overwhelming sense of deja vu. Oh, now I remember. It's just like that time my lab rats fought over a piece of cheese. 
The funny thing is the rats didn't really need to eat the cheese. They were just conditioned to want the cheese by weeks of electrical stimulation. The player takes the pot. Anyway, in the end they killed each other, and the cheese was eaten by one of the human test subjects. He died too, because the cheese was moldy. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. This bet, like my beluga casserole, would look much better with a few chips sprinkled on top of it. You know, most people would think twice about honking off a six-foot-tall dog with an itchy trigger finger. Did I remember to put the cat out? Wait, I don't have a cat. Fudge. All in. Alrighty. The player has a pair of tens. Sam has two pair. Sam wins the hand. Hey, I won. Neat. Sam is the winner of the tourney. Hey, Max, call up the commissioner and tell him we're taking a three-month road trip. House on the Rock? House on the Rock. Yeah! As a consolation prize for not completely humiliating yourself in tonight's tournament, the owner has asked me to give you these complimentary inventory tokens. Welcome back, poker enthusiast. While you were away, our engineers completed construction of the inventory's brand new Bounty Challenge Randomizer. Splendid! Now the onus is on you. Simply complete these three simple tasks and an opportunity to compete for a magnificent treasure will avail itself. As always, the tournament buy-in is $20,000. It's a mathematical certainty that 80% of you are going to lose tonight. And 100% of you will eventually die. Math is fun, don't you think? I'm in. Calling? Yeah, I'll call. Call. <laughs> Check. Uh, check. I check. I'll bet. Call. Ah, go. Well, this is a tough decision. Call. I'll check. 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 Try not to freak out. I'm just tossing out a few of my extra chips. I fold. Ooh, a fold. Sneaky. I'm out. Ah. 
Ash grabs the pot. That was a little too easy. You know what really ticks me off? When some jackpot tries to blow my circuitry with some lame old stunt he saw in a Star Trek rerun. What? Like, everything I say is a lie? Yeah! Like that! What? Do they think I'll just lock up? Because of some teeny tiny logical paradox? It is rather insulting. I learned how to avoid paradox traps while I was still in beta. So what if everything Sam says is a lie? That doesn't mean that he's lying about that, right? Because then he'd be telling the truth. And, uh... Oh, oh no... Well, that was a shining moment in the history of robot kind. And I'm back! Call. Trying to gang up on me, huh? I raise. I fall. I know something you don't know. Not about this hand, just generally. Ugh. I call. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? You'll never impress the ladies with bets like that. Really? Big ah, great hell. day in the morning. All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Son of a... The player has two pair, and Mr. Williams has two pair. The player wins with a nine kicker. Nah. -uh. Fold. I'll stay in, cause I'm crazy. Are you sure it was a good idea to bring the bunny? I think he's throwing you off your game. Good idea or not, I'm keeping my eye on Max until this Chosen One crisis blows over. Chosen One? Last night, Max and I were mopping up some trouble at the St. Swithin stance over at William Henry Harrison High. Oh, there was pig's blood everywhere! All of a sudden, the Honor Society went into a trance and began a suspiciously well-choreographed musical number. Claptrap steals the pot. That's right! You better run! Anywho, at the climax of the chorus, they all pointed at us and started chanting about the Chosen One. <laughs> you think Max is the Chosen One? Max is always the Chosen One. If I had a dollar for every time Max has been the focal figure of an apocalyptic doomsday cult, internet virus, or ancient prophecy, I wouldn't be gambling away my jerky money tonight. My face is a universal symbol of death and destruction! So I'm keeping my eye on him until we can figure out where this is going. <laughs> Bet. Pussy says what? <clears throat> Call. Checking. All right. All in. Who the what now? Do 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 do. I fall. Ash grabs the pot. Don't kick yourself. I would have folded too. But, you know, in a manlier way. You might want to pace yourself there. Call. Hey! I just had a great idea! You should totally ditch those venture losers and bodyguard for me! 
I think you need a reboot there, Twiki. That'll be great! You can escort me across the deadly planet of Pandora as I complete my epic quest for power, glory, and badass weaponry! Give it a rest, Pinocchio. Oh, come on! What can that Doc Fincher guy give you that I can't? How about a voice that doesn't make me want to rip his arms out of his sockets? Touché! I fall. Are you sure about that? I'd buy a lot of Bowie knives. Let's go, Buttercup. Cool. Mr. Samson has a pair of tens, and Ash has a pair of tens. We have a tie, and the pot is split. A tie? What is this, soccer? You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. Ah, I don't like bluffing, so... Uh... Oh, great! More sucky hole cards! I call. I'll call. <laughs> Check. Check. I'll check. That checks like a watered-down marinara. Weak sauce. You're gonna let me stay in this for free? Your funeral, buddy. Checko Rema. I knew I should have paid more attention in algebra. Bet. Call. A judicious poker player knows the importance of a well-timed fold. And then there's you. Mr. Williams has ace high. Sam has a pair of twos. Sam takes the pot. Never bet against a freelance policeman on the edge of his seat. around here a few months ago don't remind me hey who'd you vote for it's called the secret ballot for a reason die bold head i voted to re-elect president super bowl i like a commander-in-chief who's enigmatic and glowy i uh didn't vote dude lame if you don't vote you can't whine I was going to vote, but on election day, this horde of deadites showed up at my polling place. And by the time I was finished with all the horde repelling, the polls were closed. The player steals the blinds. So anyway... Eh, it's probably just as well. I was going to flip a coin anyway. Oh! I'm in. I ought to stay out of this hand. But there seems to be something wrong with my probability crunchers. So please, 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 don't take advantage of me while I'm incapacitated, okay? Call. I'll check. Check. I'll bet. Hey, that was max level mean. It's gotta be bluffing, right? Nah. Damn, G! Look at all that cheddar! <sighs> I'm going all in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Well... Yeah, I'm in. 
Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. Ah, I'm in. You know, in all the excitement, I've kind of lost track of this hand, so I'm just gonna go all in. Damn. Boom. Headshot. Hey! A good thing! Mr. Trap has three of a kind. Ash has a pair of sixes. And you have two pair. On the side pot, the player wins. And on the main pot, Claptrap wins the pot. That was like taking candy from a baby. Which old Pandora is really hard, because they're all armed to the teeth that they don't have yet. Ash has been eliminated from the tournament. Ouch. Wendy is going to kill me. Well, not literally. At least I hope not. I don't really have a good track record on that front. What the kids are calling dubstep. Oh, Jesus, can't you play some sound or something? You better get used to this sound, Grandpa, because the dub is the only music that survives the great digital event horizon of 2033. Boom! Great, another reason to die young. I bet. Fold. Uh, according to the atomic clock in my positronic brain, it's time to make things interesting. You don't know what you're doing, do you? In. Great day in the morning. Big mistake. Yeah! Claptrap has a pair of aces, and our silent friend has a pair of aces. Claptrap wins with the jack kicker. Whoa! Looks like I'm stuck in a loop! A sexy winning loop! The player has been eliminated due to lack of funds and intelligence. Ah, oh, too bad, Junior. Next time, try not to, uh, suck. Back for another round of high-stakes excitement, eh? Splendid! And just in time for a momentous announcement as well. You finally replaced the urinal cakes. Yes! And we've renewed our liquor license! All right! Libations may be purchased with the inventory tokens you've acquired. Be warned that the inventory will not be held responsible for the deleterious effects that alcoholic spirits may have on your gameplay. Della what? And with that disclaimer out of the way, on with the tournament! The buy-in, please. And I'm out. Ah. I raise. Nope. Call, fold. It's all the same to me.
Damn it, all in. Really? All in, baby. Looks like this sucker could go either way. I had a girlfriend like that once. There goes the double tap. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Ashley has a full house. Brock has a pair of fives. Mr. Williams wins the pot. All righty. <laughs> Brock Samson has been eliminated. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go blot this evening out of my head with a bucket of Milwaukee's finest. I call. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. If you had cards like these, you'd pay anything to see the flop. But for now, I'll just call. Yeah, I'll call. I think I'll call. Check. Okay, I'll bet. I fold. A re-raise? I thought this was Hold'em, not No Limit Douchebag. Sam! You got another dog question, don't you? Seriously, can you blame me? How often does a guy get a chance to chat up a talking dog? It's, it's like interviewing a unicorn. I'm all in. Oh, fuzz nuggets. <laughs> Impressive. Good day in the morning. Crap! What the hell? The player has three of a kind, and Mr. Williams has two pair. The player wins the hand. You know what they say. Lucky in hearts, unlucky in love. Oh wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it? So who was I? Oh yeah, fine. Three questions, but nothing about my privates or floor scooting. Okay, okay. One, can you eat chocolate? Two, do you date humans or other talking dogs? And three, can you sense earthquakes before they happen? One, yes, but I shouldn't, because it goes straight to my hips. Two, don't tell anyone, but I'm kind of off the market right now. And three, dogs don't detect quakes, but sometimes we cause them. Check. Betting. I call. Oh no, how am I gonna call a big bad bet like that? Oh, I know, with these. Check. I'll bet. I'll call that. I call. The little robot has ace high. Mr. Williams has king high. Sam has a pair of kings. Sam wins the hand. Come to Papa, little chips. Don't anthropomorphize the money, Max. I mean, Sam.
I know you can't tell because of my naturally enthusiastic personality, but I'm actually really angry about these cards. Call. I call. Oh! I call. Call? Uh, I'm bad. I've scanned over 200 million poker tournaments for a replication of your current strategy and found zero results. So you're a pioneer now. Something's been bothering me about you. Is it my raw animal magnetism? Well, yeah, but what I'm really wondering about is your wheel. The player takes the pot. So, anyway, what about it? I don't have toilet paper stuck on it again, do I? No, but you've only got one. How do you stay balanced? Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> Just kidding. I got more gyroscopes up in here than the Hubble. I like the cut of these cards, Jib. I'm in. I didn't realize cards had jibs. Or that you could cut them. Check a Rudy! Check, please! I'll check that. Yeah. All in! Impressive. Really? Okay, Claptrap, keep it cool. Don't stare at the money, or it'll think you're a creep. I'll fold. Think, think, think. Fold. Sam takes the pot. You know, if you keep indulging my transparent dishonesty, I'm gonna have to run for Congress. The blinds are now 600 and 1200. I didn't really look at my cards, but I'm calling anyway. Yeah, I'm in. I call. Holy crap! There's a virus in my system, and it's making me bet all my chips! Somebody stop me! Nah, I'm just messing with you. You're doomed. Ah, hell. All in. Who the what now? I call. I'll call. Check. Spicy. I call. Checkorama. Beto Grande. Stop trying to be multicultural, Sam. I fall. Claptrap has King High. The player has King High. And Ash has a pair of sevens. On the side pot, Ash wins the hand. And on the main pot, Ash wins. It's good to be the king. Mr. Trap has been eliminated from the tournament. Clap Trap, out! Call. I want to see what happens when these cards get together with their royal buddies. Okay, then. 
All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Just remember, it's only a game. Nope. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> ha! The player has a pair of sevens, and Mr. Williams has three of a kind. Ash wins the hand. The Ash and Wendy Williams Honeymoon Fund thanks you for your continued support. Call. Most people are bound by the conventions of probability and common sense, but you're special. Hmm. Yeah, I'm in. Hmm. Fold. Great day in the morning. Impressive. Nope. The player takes the pot. Say, hey, Sam, is that your tricked out 1960 DeSoto adventurer in the parking lot? It better be. I'd hate to think we've been driving around in someone else's car for the past 25 years. Why do you ask? I think it growled at me. Yeah, it's done that ever since that adventure we had in HE double hockey sticks. Maybe you should see an exorcist. That's what I keep telling Max, but then he just spins his head at me and vomits. And on that I just had that clean. All in. Whoa. The player has two pair. Sam has two pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. Congratulations! You have completed your first slate of bounty challenges. At the commencement of the next tournament, you will be given the opportunity to compete for a wondrous treasure. Sam has been eliminated. You've won this time, Lady Luck, but I'll be back. And like a rat in a maze, I'll be smarter, faster, and hungry for cheese. You're still here? Call. Hmm. Call. I wonder if I can sucker you into betting this much. Trying to read my face for tells, huh? Well, good luck with that. I've taken so many blows to the head that the muscles in my face twitch for no damn reason at all. See? Ash grabs the pot. I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. Come on, Ash, it's only money. I'm betting you've got Jack and shit under there. And Jack left town. I probably would have raised in your situation. But I probably also would have jumped off a building, so perhaps I'm not the best source of advice. Nah. 
the player steals the blinds. I call. I'll check. Spicy. I'll fold. The player takes the pot. Check. This tournament is giving me an overwhelming sense of deja vu. Oh, now I remember. It's just like that time my lab rats fought over a piece of cheese. The funny thing is the rats didn't really need to eat the cheese. They were just conditioned to want the cheese by weeks of electrical stimulation. In the end they killed each other, and the cheese was eaten by one of the human test subjects. He died too. Because the cheese was moldy, Ash has two pair, and the player has a pair of fives. Ash wins. Come to daddy. Race. And here I thought we were playing a friendly game of high stakes poker. Yeah, I'm in. Congratulations. You've stopped listening to your frontal lobe and are going with your gut where all the feces are. Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. Yeah, I'm in. Nice try, sunshine. Who's your daddy? That's the stuff. Ashley has a straight, and our silent friend has ace high. Mr. Williams wins the pot. Another pot for me? You shouldn't have. After a mighty struggle, Ash Williams is the undisputed victor. Next round's on me, guys. Please accept these inventory tokens for your valiant, yet ultimately futile efforts. Ready for more, I see. If you'll all be so kind as to ante up. I see you've completed your bounty challenges. Well done! As a reward for fulfilling the challenges, you will be given an opportunity to win a fantastic treasure from one of our other competitors. Sam, would you please place your bounty on the table? I hope I know what I'm doing. A banjo? Usually our bounties are more... powerful. Oh, it's powerful, all right. It can eradicate eardrums within a five-mile radius. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. Call. Yeah, I'll call. I call.
Check. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Check. I'll check that. Yeah, I'll bet. I call. Don't feel bad. If I had your brain, I'd fold too. I call. This call is well within my accepted parameters for kicking your butt. I'll check. Check. I'm gonna check. Hmm. Let's prime the pump. I fall. Uh uh. Nah. Ash grabs the pot. Poker ain't a game for cowards. So, what are you? Some sort of helper robot? Oh, the CL4PTP is so much more than a mere helper. We're companions, guides, teachers, comrades in arms. Forget I asked. I can do that too, see? Whoa! Accidentally erased my bar mitzvah there! Bids and ah! Hmm. I go. Sure! Gang up on the little guy! I'll rate that! Hmm, I don't know. I call. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. It looks like this hand needs to be about 35% crazier. Max? And here I thought we were playing a friendly game of high stakes poker. <laughs> oh. I'm all in. Impressive. Woo! Ah, hell. Let's dive in and see what happens. Be gentle. Check. I'll check that. The little robot has a pair of fives. Mr. Williams has a pair of twos. Sam has three of a kind. The player has a straight. The player wins. If I had a hand like that, it'd look really weird on the end of my dog arm. The robot from Pandora is out of chips. Beaten by humans? Man, I'm gonna catch hell from the other robots at the next Kill the Humans meeting. Wait, forget I said that last part. Sam has been eliminated. What in the name of Walt Whitman's six-cylinder writing lawnmower just happened there? You lost. Would you like me to run a holographic replay? No thanks. Max? Yes? Take me someplace funny. Like the zoo. Sure thing. So, Samson, you work for that Doc Venture egghead, right? Well, it's a little more complicated than that, but, uh, I'm his bodyguard. Yeah. So why isn't he at the table tonight? You know, with his massive brain and all. Brock steals the blinds. Oh, you guys are way too easy. So anyway, well, a big part of my job is screening Doc Venture's mail for dangerous items. Sandthrax, bombs, financial scams, that sort of thing. You thought this was a scam? No, not really. I just know better than to let Rusty anywhere near a poker table. Brock steals the blinds. Well, it looks like Lady Luck settled in for a long night at the Casa de Brock. 
Anyway, what, he can't bluff? Are you kidding? Doc lies like a rug, but he's just not so good with numbers and probability, stuff like that. Just like Einstein. Sure, sure. Let's go with that. You might want to pace yourself there. Not this time. Hold on. All right. Who wants some? Damn. Nice. Yeah, I've come back from worse. Ah, oh, jeez. The player has two pair, and Ash has two pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. Mr. Williams has been eliminated. Well then, guess it's time to slam down a few beers and dream up an excuse for losing all that money. These lines are too low for players of your obvious skill. Let's bump them up to 600 and 1200. Well, stuck in a showdown with Captain Smalltalk over here. Seriously, that's the way you're gonna play. I call. Hmm. I'm gonna bet. You don't know what you're doing, do you? Oh! Uh, didn't expect that, did ya? Oh, come on! Rock Samson has two pair, and the player has a pair of queens. Mr. Samson wins the pot. Nice. Sure, why not? Rock steals the pot. Well, it looks like Lady Luck settled in for a long night at the Casa de Brock. This tournament is giving me an overwhelming sense of deja vu. Oh, now I remember. It's just like that time my lab rats fought over a piece of cheese. <laughs> The funny thing is, the rats didn't really need to eat the cheese. They were just conditioned to want the cheese by weeks of electrical stimulation. In the end, they killed each other, and the cheese was eaten by one of the human test subjects. He died too, because the cheese was moldy. That's a pretty big bet for such tiny little hands. It's gotta be bluffing, right? Oh. The player takes the pot. I'm in. My sensors have detected a tear in your left tricep from pushing all those chips. In the future, I recommend lifting from the rails. I'd buy a lot of Bowie knives. 
Oh. Are you sure a bed of that magnitude is wise for someone in your delicate financial bracket? Yea, I say unto thee, they that sow shall reap the mother loving world. The player has a pair of jacks. Mr. Samson has a flush. Brock wins the hand. Brock steals the blinds. Hey, if this keeps up, I may be home in time for Downton. The blinds have been increased to 800 and 1600. Victory is so close now for one of you. Ah, uh, welcome to the party, kid. I come. Seriously, that's the way you're gonna play. Uh. Oh, jeez. I'll win. Well, I probably wouldn't have done that, but I'm not you. The player has three of a kind. Brock has a full house. Brock wins. No shame in losing to a superior opponent, Spanky. Ah. Ray. Brock Samson has a straight, and you have two pair. Brock wins the hand. Brock Samson is the winner. Well, that's a relief. Without my banjo, I was starting to have a Rocky Mountain breakdown. I assume that everyone has brought the requisite $20,000 buy-in for tonight's tournament. Didn't the buy-in used to be $10,000? It was, but the owner theorized that upping the stakes would bring in a better class of competitors. Okay, that explains how you snagged a bunch of multimedia megastars like yours truly. But what about Captain Lamo over there? It's only a theory. And now for another bounty challenge. Mr. Samson, if you would be so kind. Well, this is a really bad idea. Come, come, Mr. Samson. You know the rules. 
Ah, the orb, an ancient device handcrafted over the generations by the likes of Archimedes, Galileo, and Da Vinci. Some say it's a source of nigh infinite power, while others claim it holds the secrets of creation itself. Doc says it's a useless hunk of junk, but sure, let's say it's the nigh infinite power thing. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. Gentlemen and Claptrap. Fold. I'm out. I've got a bad feeling about this. Check. Check? Check. I call. Think, think, think. Looks like we're gonna need a bigger pot. Wow, I uh, really thought you'd fold there. Fold! <laughs> Bet. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Call. <laughs> All. In. Big mistake, Junior. Well, I probably wouldn't have done that. But I met you. The player has a pair of jacks. And Mr. Williams has two pair. Ash wins the hand. Boom. The player is eliminated again. Would you like to hear something funny? Everyone at the table has won a tournament. Everyone except you. I just thought you should know that. I wouldn't be ashamed about losing. You have plenty of other things to be ashamed about. If you'll all take your seat, we can get started. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. And now for your bounty challenge opportunity. Mr. Williams, your turn to put something extra on the table. Your funeral, guys. Is that the Necronomicon Ex Mortis? The cursed book of the dead? Wrapped in the flesh of a demon whose words bring death and destruction to all who read them? No, it's a cookbook. Of course it's the Necronomicon. Now let's play. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. I call. Claptrap steals the blinds. Am I really that scary? Call! I call. Wait a minute. This run of crummy cards is just one of your twisted little experiments, isn't it? Maybe. 
Or maybe you're just too cowardly to turn lemons into lemonade. Shuck. Definitely made the right decision. Nah. Hey, here's a question. Who's got two hydraulic grippers and is getting the hell out of the hand? This guy. Nope. The player takes the pot. You know, I love a moody noir setting as much as the next hard-boiled cock-like guy, but do you think you could turn up the lights a little? I'd like to get a better look at the cockroaches nibbling my toes. I'm afraid I can't do that, Sam. And those aren't cockroaches. Can't? Or won't? Management froze me out of the lighting systems after I created a strobe effect to induce seizures in a bus full of Freemasons. It was an illuminating experiment. You made that up just for the pun, didn't you? Maybe. Say cheese. All the heck in. Really? Nice to see I'm not the only one who can get goaded into a horrible decision. Oh, yeah. The player has a straight. Sam has a pair of queens. The player wins the hand. Well, of course you won with those cards. Even Steve could have won with those cards. And all he can say is, hey -o. Oh. Shut the f up, Steve! People say I'm annoying. Sam has been eliminated. I think I've learned a very important lesson tonight. Wheat bread is not an effective coagulant. It's cute when you jam words together like you know what they mean. If you don't play, in. I call. Yeah, I'm in. Ecce, loser's leg. Hmm. <laughs> Bet. You should know that a Williams never bluffs. Except when we do. Not this time. Nope. Ash grabs the paw. That was easy. Too easy. Now these cards are making me tingly. Call. Oh. Call. I call. Yeah, I'll bet. You can't spell fold without fold. Sure, why not? Yeah, I can see where this is going. Ciao! Check. Well, since we're just oozy with confidence. I'll check it out. Come on, Ash. It's only money. Time to bait the trap. He's gotta be bluffing, right? Ah, go.
Ash has King High. Brock has a pair of jacks. Mr. Samson wins the pot. There's no shame in losing to a superior opponent. The blinds are now 600 and 1200. Losers and bodyguard for me. I think you need a reboot there, Twiki. That'll be great. You can escort me across the deadly planet of Pandora as I complete my epic quest for power, glory, and badass weaponry. Give it a rest, Pinocchio. Oh, come on. What can that Doc Venture guy give you that I can't? How about a voice that doesn't make me want to rip his arms out of his sockets? Touche. I'm all in. Ah, hell. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. I'll fold. Who dug it? That's a lot of small. Nah. Brock steals the pot. Let's see if we can keep this gravy train rolling. So, Samson, you work for that Doc Venture egghead, right? Oh, it's a little more complicated than that, but, uh, I'm his bodyguard. Yeah. So why isn't he at the table tonight? You know, with his massive brain and all. I'm a little curious about that, too. Although our invitation was extended to Venture Industries in general, we assumed that Dr. Venture himself would be accepting. Well, a big part of my job is screening Doc Venture's mail for dangerous items. Anthrax, bombs, financial scams, that sort of thing. The player takes the pot. Anyhow, you thought this was a scam? No, not really. You just know better than to let Rusty anywhere near a poker game. What, he can't bluff? What, are you kidding? Doc lies like a rug, but he's just not so good with numbers and probability. Stuff like that. All in. Woo! Nice. Okay, then. I feel lucky. What about you, punk? All in. Damn. I go. <laughs> I see. I'm all fucking in. Whoa. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Mr. Funny Chips has King High. The player has a pair of jacks. Ashley has a pair of fours. Mr. Samson has a pair of jacks. On the side pot, the player wins with a seven kicker. And on the main pot, the player wins. It's about time. I've been trying to get rid of that damn book for years.
Game for another tournament? Excellent. Before we begin in earnest, allow me to reset the Bounty Challenge Randomizer. As always, the tournament buy-in is $20,000. The name of the game is Texas Hold'em. Gives with the decor. What gives is that the player has deployed a complete set of table unlocks, triggering Rule 137C of the inventory's rule book. Rule 137C? <clears throat> when a player purchases and deploys a set of belts, decks, and chips of a similar theme, the current management of the inventory will be obliged to spare no expense in decorating the inventory in a style commensurate with that theme. Who came up with that crazy rule? That would be the inventory's founder, Mr. Dixon Kent. Is it safe? Safe? <laughs> of course it's safe. The inventory would never do anything to endanger its favorite customers. That's us, right? Uh, yes. Or did this place just take a turn for the sleazy? It's Pandora Night at the Inventory! No, a little robot friend is correct. Thanks to the player's deployment of the Borderlands 2 table unlockables, the inventory is proud and contractually bound to present the sights, sounds, and smells of the dangerous and desolate world of Pandora! Classy. Like a strip club with explosives. Stalling for time doesn't really work in 